Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Luna Pratalima Fei, PhD student from Politecnico di Milano, uh, Italy, and currently visiting Argo National Laboratory under the supervision of Stephen Klippensen. Today, um, I will talk about my uh, theoretical work on the uh, reaction of uh, cyclopentadiene with the uh, HO2. Cyclopentadiene radical is relevant in combustion kinetics for a number of reasons. First, uh, it's been uh, long known that it is one of the main uh, products of the benzene oxidation through the decomposition of a phenoxy radical. But in uh, more recent years, it was also identified as one of the main precursor for the growth of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon species, especially um, through radical recombination reactions. Finally, recently it was identified as uh, an important uh, structure in uh, persistent uh, um, radicals, radicals uh, uh, in uh, PAHs and uh, um, carbon nanoparticle structures, and so the study of its uh, reactivity in both oxidation and growth uh, will be helpful in understanding the behavior of these structures. The recombination of HO2 uh, and cyclopentadiene radicals is relevant both in uh, cyclopentadiene and benzene oxidation, in particular um, in the intermediate temperature range. For example, if you consider the sensitivity coefficients of uh, um, CO2 and naphthalene in uh, cyclopentadiene oxidation, we see that HO2 plus uh, cyclopentadiene uh, is uh, fostering oxidation and suppressing uh, growth and therefore determines the competition between, uh, this, between uh, uh, the composition and uh, pH's formation. Similarly, we see that um, in uh, benzene oxidation, the concentration of benzene itself is sensitive to this reaction because it produces OH radicals that contribute to benzene consumption through the abstraction reactions. However, the theoretical study of uh, this potential energy surface is particularly challenging because of the presence of a large number of uh, barrierless uh, channels which have to be studied uh, with a appropriate theoretical protocols and therefore uh, previous uh, literature studies um, only provided approximate rate constants for these reaction channels. Additionally, um, the main identified product, these 2,4-C5H5O uh, isomer plus uh, OH, um, is uh, in contrast with the uh, more recent theoretical studies of uh, oxidation reactions of uh, cyclopentadiene with uh, other radicals that instead highlight uh, the 1,3-C5H5O isomer that is rationally stabilized as um, particularly re relevant in the reactivity, and this causes inconsistencies in the global kinetic mechanism uh, me mechanisms developed on this theoretical basis. Therefore, in this work, uh, we uh, compute accurate theoretical rate constants for this potential en energy surface, uh, and uh, we then integrate those uh, rate constants in uh, um, global kinetic mechanisms. In particular, electronic structural calculations are performed uh, uh, with automated uh, uh, softwares, uh, and in particular S2KTP, and uh, uh, we also use Automac for the determination of uh, th thermochemical properties. Then the elementary rate constants de derived are lumped uh, through master equation-based uh, lumping in order to be easily integrated into a crack kinetic uh, mechanism, uh, and uh, uh, the macroscopic reactor performances are tested uh, uh, with kinetic simulations uh, using uh, open smoke. Concerning further details uh, on uh, the electronic structure calculations, these were performed uh, with S2KTP. The potential energy surface uh, uh, was determined at B2 flip D3 uh, level of theory um, in terms of uh, uh, geometry and uh, uh, optimization of frequency calculations, while uh, single point energies were refined uh, at couple cluster level using uh, a complete basis set uh, extrapolation through uh, MP2 and uh, um, core electron corrections. Instead, uh, for reaction channels with a uh, uh, high multi reference character, the energies were refined uh, at CAPS PT2 level of theory. calculations uh, performed with SQDP were then used to, to uh, determine uh, the partition functions and uh, um, the thermochemical properties uh, uh, for final fitting to NASA polynomials using uh, Automac. Elementary rate constants for uh, channels with well-defined barriers were determined using the conventional transition state theory. However, as uh, 
mentioned earlier, this potential energy surface has a large number of variable-less reaction channels, and these were uh, instead uh, treated with the variable reaction coordinate transition state theory using uh, Varikov to uh, calculate the reactive flux, which was recently coupled uh, with SWDP. So considering as an example uh, H of recombination on a cycle pentadienyl, we determined uh, uh, the minimum energy path at a um, higher level of theory, while the sampling of the uh, orientations um, between the two reactive fragments were uh, performed uh, at a lower level of theory, with the uh, uh, correction potentials derived uh, between the higher and the lower, lower levels of theory. So in order to perform the sampling of the orientations, uh, we uh, determined two different uh, uh, placements for the pivot points in the short and the long transition state regions. In particular, for the short range region, we determined uh, we placed pivot points uh, at the reactive atoms and uh, we displaced uh, uh, them in terms of relative distance and angles uh, along uh, the breaking bonds so as to build uh, the multidimensional uh, surfaces for the sampling. Instead, for the long range uh, region, the pivot points were placed uh, at the center of masses of the reactive uh, radicals. The reaction fluxes calculated uh, um, for the elementary channels are then merged uh, into one-dimensional master equation simulations that are performed uh, with MESS. I will now show the results for the potential energy surface. So the recombination of uh, H2O2 on cyclopentodinyl forms um, uh, a well, uh, relatively deep, about 50 kcal per mole. Um, and uh, um, uh, this well can uh, eliminate the water uh, forming cyclopentodinyl. However, the main reaction channel identified in literature was uh, um, the OO bond fission to form the 2,4-C5H5O isomer uh, plus the hydroxyl radical. However, uh, we found that um, a much more uh, favored path pathway is the hydrogen transfer to form a different, um, a different well, the 1,3 uh, well, which, uh, in, which can also um, undergo OO bond fission to form 1,3C5H5O plus OH. Therefore, the competition between the first uh, OO bond fission and the hydrogen transfer determines uh, basically the product uh, distribution. Another channel that can be accessed from the 1,3 um, well uh, is uh, a further hydrogen migration, uh, which result in a different uh, um, product, uh, um, resonantly stabilized product, uh, which is, however, uh, of minor uh, importance. The entrance channel of a uh, uh, H3 combination on uh, cyclopentodinyl um, shows a uh, uh, minimum energy path that is characterized by a change in the orientation uh, of the H2 radical with respect to the ring. This determines uh, the, transi the transition from the uh, inner to the uh, outer uh, transition state and therefore from the short to the long range region. This uh, uh, plus shows uh, as a solid black line the uh, total high pressure limit recombination rate constant uh, obtained uh, with the VRCTST, while the other line styles show the rate constants to uh, different products at one atmosphere. And here we see that um, at low temperatures, uh, the main product is the first uh, well, so the 2,4C5H5OOH uh, well, while at higher temperatures, the main product is the resonantly stabilized 1,3C5H5O uh, isomer, contrary to uh, what uh, found uh, in other literature uh, investigations. So since 2,4C5H-OOH uh, uh, um, is stabilized at uh, low temperatures, uh, we can uh, look uh, at the decomposition rate constants for this uh, uh, well. And in particular, we see that also in this case, the main, uh, the First, the decomposition rate constant is uh, pretty high, and then uh, uh, we also notice that the main decomposition product uh, is uh, uh, still the 1,3C5H5O uh, isomer. Uh, and so uh, we can uh, conclude that this is the main uh, product channel of this potential energy surface. So what is the fate of uh, the 1,3C5H5O isomer? That is the one which accumulates the most uh, in the system. So we already saw that um, 
the um, O-O bond fission uh, occurs. Uh, however, uh, if uh, the hydroxyl radical recombines on the carbon uh, side, much deeper wells are formed. And so uh, we calculated uh, the rate constants for these three channels with VRCDST, and we confirmed that the recombination on the carbon sites is uh, uh, definitely uh, favored over that uh, on the oxygen. So we performed a preliminary investigation uh, on the reactivity of these two uh, isomers, and we found that uh, CO elimination is an important uh, product channel. Um, however, also uh, the ring opening pathways and uh, the water elimination pathways uh, uh, play a role, and ultimately these decompose to uh, smaller product species. At this point, we want to include the reaction network uh, calculated into crack kinetic mechanism. So we lumped uh, the potential energy surface obtained so as to be consistent with uh, the reactivity represented in the crack mechanism and uh, also to avoid um, to include a large number of new species. So we uh, implicitly included the reactivity of uh, these unstable wells. We lumped together uh, the two resonantly stabilized C5H5O isomers and then we implicitly included the reactivity of the unstable 2,4 uh, isomer by replacing it with uh, uh, its products. So the global reactions obtained uh, were uh, used to update uh, the crack kinetic mechanism. So the black solid line shows uh, the main uh, product channel uh, at one atmosphere and is compared with uh, the red uh, lines that are the high pressure limit uh, reactivity uh, that was uh, used in the previous version of the mechanism. So we see that uh, above uh, a 1000 Kelvin, um, the previous mechanism was overestimating uh, uh, the production of um, basically OH, and therefore we uh, expect uh, a reduction in the reactivity of uh, cyclopentadiene and benzene uh, as a result. This is a, a global database that we considered for uh, testing uh, uh, of the new kinetics uh, introduced in the mechanism. And I will show the results for the simulations highlighted in bold, where we found relevant impact uh, of the new uh, kinetics. Here are the partial results of uh, um, the oxidation of cyclopentadiene in a jet steel reactor. And the solid line shows the updated results uh, compared to the dashed line which shows the results with the older version of the mechanism. Cyclopentadiene is mostly uh, oxidized uh, with OH radical. It produces uh, cyclopentadienyl, which may grow to methyl cyclopentadiene or naphthalene, but uh, almost 50% of it is oxidized uh, with the present uh, updated rate constant, so uh, H2 uh, recombination and uh, uh, OH uh, uh, elimination. The C5H5O uh, is then oxidized uh, mostly uh, with O2 to form uh, either C4 and smaller species or um, cyclopentadienone, which is also um, uh, decomposing to uh, smaller species. So we do not see uh, major changes compared to the uh, previous version of the mechanism because uh, uh, actually there in this temperature range, the rate constants uh, uh, of uh, the previous and the current version are uh, pretty close. And uh, it is also interesting to note that cyclopentadienone uh, significantly accumulates in both uh, uh, cases. And therefore, um, since it was not detected experimentally, it might be worth uh, uh, investigating its reactivity further. However, we obtained uh, uh, a strong impact of the, um, of the new uh, kinetics uh, for cyclopentadienyl oxidation uh, in the plug flow reactor um, of Butler at a slightly higher temperature. Uh, and uh, the main reason for the um, change in uh, cyclopentadiene conversion is that in the original mechanism, the oxidation of cyclopentadienyl would directly produce C4 uh, and smaller species, while in the updated version, uh, the formation of smaller products is mediated through um, the um, oxygenated uh, species. And this results in a, a higher concentration of cyclopentadienyl, which uh, favors pH is uh, over the oxidation products. Similar uh, results were obtained for benzene oxidation, where we see that um, at similar temperatures, benzene conversion is slowed down, and uh, the reason is exactly the same. So cyclopentadienyl uh, concentration increases, and uh, uh, therefore uh, it's a slow, slower conversion to uh, OH plus C5H5O, 
produces a smaller amount of OH uh, radicals, which then uh, oxidize uh, benzene more slowly. We see the largest impact uh, on uh, PAHs uh, in uh, uh, the jet, a jet steel reactor at lower pressure and uh, uh, lean conditions. And in particular here, uh, the higher concentration of cyclobenzodiene um, results in increased uh, naphthol information. So uh, to conclude, uh, we applied the variable reaction coordinate transitions theory to obtain accurate predictions for the uh, HO2 plus cyclobenzodiene um, reactivity and also to uh, approximate uh, uh, the reactivity of uh, the OH recombination on uh, C5H5O. We found that contrary to what uh, previous literature uh, studies predict, the 1,3C5H5O plus OH is the main product of uh, this potential energy surface. The reaction network uh, was lumped so as to um, obtain uh, um, only three main uh, reactive, uh, let's say, nodes. And uh, um, the impact was tested of these new kinetics was tested on uh, kinetic simulations with the uh, crack kinetic mechanism, obtaining uh, uh, globally an increased uh, uh, concentration of sacrobentodinyl, which impacts uh, uh, the, uh, both uh, the conversion and uh, the uh, predictions on PAHs. Further investigations may include uh, the reactivity of O2 uh, with, uh, uh, with C5H5O and also the reactivity of sacrobentodinyl, which uh, uh, accumulates significantly but is not detected experimentally. And with this, I conclude my presentation and I would like to thank you for your attention.